I don't need to tell you that China's stock market, uh, Shanghai Shenzhen, mostly retail money, 80% or so according to estimates. And while there have been many stories overnight of millionaires uh, being made, the flip side is also a stark reality. Those losing their shirts, CNBC's Yunus Yun takes a look. Far from Wall Street to the financial capital of Shanghai, farmer Yang Chang saw his dream of getting rich disappear in the stock market. Yang began investing in 2008 from the remote town of Panzhuhua in southwest China. He lost everything. I feel so hopeless, he says. Traditionally, average Chinese shun the stock market as an unreliable investment. But that changed in 2014 when the government started promoting stocks as part of a grand plan to open the economy and expand the role of markets here. Yang put his savings of $164,000 in the bull market and invested his relatives' money too. He bet it all on one stock, a local mining company. When the market climbed to 4,000 points, I realized the risks were pretty high, he says. However, public opinion on government policies affected my judgment. But what doomed him was margin trading. His brokerage convinced him to try it. He borrowed $1 million, more than five times his portfolio. When the market hit a low point in early July, his brokerage forced him to liquidate. In an ironic twist, he now owes roughly the same amount he originally invested. Yang isn't alone. At brokerages across the country, hundreds of thousands of ordinary investors have been caught off guard by all the volatility. Many of them have suffered catastrophic losses. Yang bought a train ticket to Beijing. Like many investors, he traveled to the offices of the leadership and the stocks regulator, but was turned away. I don't know what to do. I trusted the government too much, he says. I won't touch stocks again. Returning home empty-handed, the full weight of the family crisis sinks in. I have ruined everyone in my family, he laments. Eunice Yoon, CNBC, Pantrawa. Yeah, lots of emotion.